This journey sounds like something that a writer would create out of the blue, but this story is really true about the Broadway Theater Restoration Project. Two former classmates from the legendary East High School in Buffalo, New York, saw each other in traffic. Reginald Wallace was having a computer issue and Mike Quinney agreed to stop by and take a look at it. While Mike was working on Reggie's computer, he talked about his business ideal of finding a building to provide educational programs. Reggie was interested because he had a similar ideal of finding a building for a concert venue. Reggie was a former nightclub owner and concert promoter who had events at Shea's Buffalo Theater, Melody Fair, Little Harlem, and he worked for Freddie C. and Al Heyman. Mike was an urban television program producer for WKBW-TV. The two decided to combine multimedia and music. Reggie knew someone that was selling a theater that sat in the perfect location. The building was the former theater built in 1914 by John G. Sattler, the famous department store owner of Sattler's, located at 998 Broadway. The Basil Brothers bought the building in 1921 and ran it as a movie theater until 1965 when it was sold to Muhammad's Mosque. Muhammad Ali and Malcolm X both visited the theater. In 1975, the mosque sold it to God's Holy Temple Christian Church and they operated the building until 2008 when they sold it to the Western New York Minority Media Professionals. There are only 27 historical African-American theaters left in the United States out of 2,500 that existed in 1955. The Apollo Theater in Harlem and the Sadler Broadway Theater are the only two left in New York State. Please donate to help save one of America's historical treasures, the Broadway Theater. Thank you.